here we go again back with more world of spanner season 2016 on pro cycle man season 2016 and today we have stage 12 from las Corrales de brenda to bilbao uh pretty hilly states one of the most um height meters i've seen so far in this world that usually there's just one big climb or one steep climb towards the end this time it ends downhill and i have a flat finish but there's a lot of climb during the stage so this should be maybe my favor a little bit more thinking about attacking with Yates at, at the second to last climb, but then I don't have any helpers left for Chavez most likely, so it's a bit of a win-lose situation if I do so. But uh, let's get into the stage and we'll figure out what we'll do at that point. Okay, we're nearing the end of stage now, 20 kilometers to go for one final climb. There's small pills and I tried to get away with Simon Yates, but I couldn't manage to do so, that's why he has such a little amount of energy left. James is actually a top 3 favorite for the stage, but looking at him, I don't think he's going to make it over the next climb in first level. Other than that, I can't even control him again, so... Uh, not really much to worry about there. Right now it's pretty much just about placing myself probably here. So I can get away from the, the pelts and, and get a hit start just like the last time. And just like it didn't work. Hopefully it'll work this time instead though. And I think it's right here because this is the 5 kilometer mark. And I think 5 kilometer is a pretty good distance to work with. So let's see if we can get a little bit of a head start. Uh, movie star Rojas just get on, got on my wheel here. I don't like that at all. Yates is really putting Jarvis up the climb here. Kenyo, Durasek, we are getting up to the breakaway now. Steve is there. Steve is actually one of the favorites for the stage. stage so uh, he might well take the stage just because he's the strongest rider and he's had a little head start being in the breakaway all day. So now I'm slowing down a little bit just because Kenyo and the other riders aren't on my wheel anymore. I'll Guess I'll see Valverde trying to get up to me. Mind is actually one of the top 10 riders trying a little attack here. Street bar still hanging on, but now he drops off and Yates drops off as well. So let's see what we can do with Chavez. He doesn't have a big gap at all down to the favorites here. But Gila and Scaponi actually are the ones chasing him right now. There comes Mind is up. I hope Yates can make it in the front group here. I don't think he'll manage it. But it'll be very great for me. Nah, he just drops off from Scaponi and Bagil. But I don't think Scaponi and Bagil will make it up to Chavez either way. Maybe he can hang on here with Mindes or the next group with the big favorites, Froome, Contador, Quintana, and of course the red jersey Valverde himself. 10 kilometers, but most of it is downhill. I don't know what to do pace wise here. I know it's going to go down a little bit more around the corner here, and I'll be pretty steep percentages. Sixty here a little bit, just to regain a little bit of my red bar now. I have to go all out now. I don't think I'm getting dropped from the group behind us, but I don't think I'll win the stage either. They have too many helpers still working for them, and then they can sprint past them, them myself uh, themselves. So Valverde will most likely win the stage. Yates doesn't seem to be able to hang on this group either way. Uh, Rolang, some of the riders here falling a bit off now, 37 seconds still for Chavez up front, but now he's run out of energy, he's dead now, I don't think I'll win this stage, 36 seconds, it'll be very close, maybe I'll get 10 bonus seconds, and a stage win will be very nice for me, I think I actually might just take it here, I do take, I think this is my 5th stage win, uh, but I'd rather take seconds, so I get bonus seconds, I don't think there's enough maybe to get, maybe there's enough to get a time gap, but it's only 10 second time gap, plus around 4 seconds in bonus seconds to Valverde, so in the end it's a win for me, but not much, not enough in case of time. Quintana actually one of the riders who fell off at towards the end here, together with Mindis, so bit of from him. Yates comes in here with Koenig as well. Uh, real stage, let's take a look at new overall standings, I don't think uh, anything has changed, changed in the top 10, maybe Mindis have fallen, Mindis and Critic might have fallen out and been re replaced by some other riders. So Chavez takes a little stage win plus some bonus seconds. Uh, no time gaps, sadly enough. Quintana lost time, Mainz lost time, Giesing, Koenig, Yates, Talansky, Tita and Garland, some riders who were close to top 10 lost time. And yeah, now some of the hill riders have moved back up in the standings again, but there's been some changes in the top 10. Yates drops another place, I get a little bit closer by 4 seconds only to. Uh, Jarvis, of course, gained a little bit to the riders behind me. 
uh, since they didn't get top 3. I think 3rd place went to Trofimov, actually a pretty surprising 3rd place finisher. But all in all, pretty decent stage. Tomorrow, Friday stage will be pretty similar to this one. A um, bit more steep and more hilly towards the end. So it will be even tougher and I think we'll see even smaller groups heading to the sprint uh, towards the end. Hopefully I'll be amongst those riders.